Kirsten. And I'm Vance. And this is how we're going to show you how to pack for your 2016 Iceland trip. First, you have to make sure you have everything ready to go. So, you might want to pack long sleeve shirts, long uh, pants, and thick coats just in case it snows, and waterproof jackets just in case it rains. And make sure you pack something that repels volcanoes because a volcano erupts there every four hours. So, first step, once you have everything you need packed, you're going to close your bag and double check that you have everything. Then jump on your back so that everything gets smashed down. And then you zip your bag up, pull it around, and that's just pretty much it. So wish us luck. We are and we are about three hours away from the Minneapolis airport and that is where we're gonna fly out to go to Iceland. The trip to Iceland is about six hours and we packed way too much stuff. We packed like six bags for four people and we also brought a phantom drone so yeah you're gonna see some pretty cool pictures with this also. Yay! Here we are in the Minneapolis airport and we are about an hour away from our flight party. Um, our flight's gonna be six hours to Iceland, so we're gonna be way tired once we get there. So we must sleep, because we have a big day planned. When we land, we have to travel and play for another 10 to 12 hours. Sounds fun. Here we are at the lava rocks just east of Vic, and these things are really, really hard, but they've been here so long, all this moss has grown on them. And but so this moss is so squishy, and you just jump on all of it, and it's so soft. It's like, it's amazing how much moss, I've never seen this much moss in my life. See, if you jump on that, when, it, when there's no moss, you will get very And the lava is like, it's so many miles of lava. It's an amazing amount. And it just amazes me that a volcano could have this much.
This is a small peninsula close to the town of Vic. It has an interesting lighthouse and rock formation going out into the ocean. In the summertime, puffins nest on the cliffs of this rock formation. Waterfall Skagafoss. It's one of the biggest waterfalls in Iceland with a drop of 200 feet. It was used in the movie Thor and The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, and it's often seen with the rainbow. In Iceland, apparently, uh, Cool Ranch Doritos are called Cool American Flavor Doritos. Apparently, they think that we're cool Americans. Because we are. Here we're at Gadafoss, and it was named because a lawmaker of the parliament branch in Iceland, uh, he, he was deciding if the country was going to convert to Christianity or not. And after 24 hours of his meditation, they decided that they were going to convert to Christianity. And the religion before they converted was this, they believed in the Norse gods. So once he lived very near here, so once um, he was coming home from work, and he threw his little wooden statues of the Norse gods into the river, which is how it got its name. And it's not the strongest not the tallest most powerful but it's, i think it's definitely the most beautiful waterfall in iceland the outside mat. This is the evil walkway to which we exit Iceland or our apartment. Not gonna step foot out yet. Gonna wait. Gonna wait. Today is our last day and we right now before we get on our flight we are going to the Blue Lagoon and first we have to get our stuff packed so that after we're done with the blue lagoon, we can go straight to the airport and then we'll be back late tonight, like midnight. So yeah, here is my suitcase. 
I don't know if you remember from the beginning of the video, but I showed you how to properly pack your suitcase. Here is how you pack your suitcase. We are at the Blue so, Lagoon you, and we can't get our hair wet because it will dry our hair out and then our hair will feel like hay or something. So we are just trying to keep our heads above the water but over there further it's really deep so we're trying to stay in shallow water. It's really pretty here. Wait, there's a That's our plane. This canyon is a magnificent and massive canyon. About 100 meters deep and about two kilometers long, the canyon has sheer walls and is somewhat serpentine and narrow. The bedrock in this canyon is mostly pelagonite, a type of rock, from cold periods of the ice age and is thought to be about two million years old. The river running through it has its source in the mountains, in the mountains and falls off the heath edge in this stunning canyon until it makes it down into the Skafta River. It is believed that this canyon was formed at the end of the last ice age, about 9,000 years ago, when the glacier retreated a lake formed in the valley behind a hard, resistant rock. The runoff from the lake flowed to where the canyon is today. Glacial rivers from the glacier's edge carried a lot of sediment into the lake and river, which ran from it, dug itself down into the rock and down into the pelagonite in front of it. Because the cascade has been so large, it was powerful in digging out the canyon. Eventually, the lake filled with sediments and the river's strength dwindled. When the lake filled up completely, the river began to dig itself into sediment layers, which it had previously left in the valley. Most people choose to walk along a walking path up the canyon's edge while simultaneously enjoying the view above the canyon. I enjoyed it more than most people.